just get to him. He sure has stepped up the language. Two days ago, he called ISIS a manageable problem. And today, he said he wants to defeat, dismantle, and destroy the group. Just words, or is President Obama ready to ask? Former Congressman Alan West joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. How are you? I'm very well. So the words have changed. Um, I suppose that's a positive sign. But um, what, what should he be doing? Well, what we have to come to understand is the president needs to settle upon what in state desired effects he wants to have. Because as a military planner, if you tell me you want to destroy, then you say you want to disrupt, then you tell me you want to dismantle, you want to defeat, you want to degrade, then you want to manage the problem, you know, you're all over the place and you're creating such confusion. I don't know exactly how to plan and how to prepare some type of uh, operational plan for you to approve. So the president needs to, you know, sit down with his advisors, and I would say not with Valerie Jarrett, but with the military advisors, and come up with the contingency plan that is necessary to truly destroy ISIS, because that's the only course of action that is tr viable for the United States of America, that region, and, and to include the uh, entire world. All right. In addition to your military background, you actually were in Iraq. So, um, I mean, the big question is, is how to defeat ISIS. I know the president said no boots on the ground. So uh, if, if we armed, if we gave the money and supplies they need, is, can the Iraqi military and the, and the Kurdish military now, if they have the weapons, are, would they be able to defeat uh, ISIS in Iraq and maybe even into Syria? Well, that, you know, I would not go toward the Iraqi military because I don't want to get into supporting potentially any type of Iranian-backed uh, event. But I would definitely look to support the Kurdish military, the Peshmerga. Then could they? And in could conjunction, they alone? Say again? Could they alone? Because well, when no, President they Obama can't, says they no can't do it the alone. Ground. Well, see, that's the problem, Greta, in that you cannot be such an, an ideological intransigent that you don't want to, you know, fully do and commit what needs to be done. You can't say what you're not willing to do. The events are dictating that. So you need to have a full-out air campaign, not just airstrikes that amount to about five or six a day. That's what we're doing. And you need to have a coordinated joint and combined, combined ground operation that ensures you have destroyed ISIS. The Kurdish Peshmerga can do that to an extent, but you're going to have to put your own uh, military forces on the ground. You know, people are going to have to direct airstrikes in. You're going to have to have special operations forces that are working in conjunction with the Kurdish Peshmerga because they don't have the same radio equipment that we have to be able to communicate with our aircraft that are going in and doing strike operations or doing close air support operations. So again, mm. the president is saying what he's not willing to do, but uh, all he is doing is creating the gap by which the enemy can exploit him. Congressman, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Greta. And there's another, another American citizen.